And number nine, a manual states that in order to be a hit, a song must be no longer than three minutes and 10 seconds. A simple random sample of 40 current hit songs results in a mean length of 252.5 seconds. Assume the population standard deviation of song length is 54.5 seconds. Use a 0.05 significance level and test the claim that the sample is from a population of songs with a mean greater than 190 seconds. So your claim will be your mean greater than 190 seconds. Your null will equal 190 seconds. Now this one seems tricky, but just pay close attention to what it's asking you to do and identify your input data. The population standard deviation is also given to you as 54.5, your sample size is 40. And be careful to put it into your population standard deviation as the problem asks, not into the sample deviation. Your results will be close, but your answers will be wrong. Evaluate and plug in your answers. Now your p-value here is zero, which is way under the null, so you are going to reject the null. The sample does provide enough evidence to support your claim. Done. Randomly selected statistic students participated in an experiment to test their ability to determine when one minute has passed. 40 students yielded a sample mean of 57.6 seconds. Assuming that standard deviation is 9.5 seconds, use a 0.5 significance level to test the claim that the population mean is equal to 60 seconds, so your alternate will not equal 60 seconds. Based on the result, does there appear to be an overall perception of one minute that is reasonably accurate? Well, the problem might ask you to identify the null. It says the base level is equivalent to 60, so you have that. In Statdisk, you're going to go to Hypothesis, mean of one sample. And the number that corresponds to your alternate hypothesis is number four. Population mean does not equal your claim mean. Identify your inputs, your significance level, sample size, sample mean, and population deviation are all named directly. The claim mean is also named directly in the question you're testing as 60. So evaluate and get your output. You're going to fail to reject the null in this one as no evidence. Now part E is tricky, so just review what you already know and on your question, just pay attention to detail since it will be different from this. In mine, I just knew that there was not sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim, and the perception was reasonably accurate. Moving on. Number 11. In statistics, what does DFD note? If a simple random sample of 24 speeds of cars on California Highway 405, is to be used to test the claim that the sample values are from a population with a mean greater than the posted speed limit of 65 miles per hour. What is the value of DF? Well, in statistics, DF are degrees of freedom. And it is always one less than the sample. So whatever your sample is, subtract one, and there's your answer. Moving on to number 12. And number 12. Determine whether the following hypothesis test involves a sampling distribution of means that is a normal distribution, student T distribution, or neither. Gives you a bunch of data, and the sample data comes from a population that is not normally distributed, and standard deviation is unknown. No calculations needed for this one. We need to rule out whether we need one, the other, or rule them both out. There's some rules for normal and rules for student T that we can review to make that decision. For normal distribution, you can use that if the standard deviation is either known or unknown, and the population has a normal or not normal distribution, and n is greater than 30. Here, n is less than 30, and it says it's not normally distributed, so we can rule out the normal distribution. The student t distribution can be used if standard deviation is unknown, whether the population has a normal or abnormal distribution, and n is greater than 30 n is 13 here, so it's not greater than 30, so we can rule them both out. Neither student t nor normal distribution. 13. A coin mint has a specification that a particular coin has a mean weight of 2.5 grams. A sample of 33 coins was collected. These coins have a mean weight of 2.4921 grams and a standard deviation of 0.01898 grams. Use a 0.05 significance level to test the claim that the sample is from a population with a mean weight equal to 2.5 grams. Do the coins appear to conform to the specifications of the coin mint? You're going to use your h sub 0 and h sub 1 as equal to and not equal to, as the problem suggests. And for stat disk, you're going to go to hypothesis, hypothesis testing, one mean, 
and use number 4, pop mean does not equal claim mean. Here you are going to use the same process. Identify your input, significance 0.5, claim mean is 2.5, sample size 33, sample mean 2.49, 421, sample standard deviation is 0 0.1898. In this problem in particular, you're going to put your standard deviation into the sample size because you're using a sample of coins. And be sure to use all these numbers in their entirety. Do not prematurely round them off. Evaluate and put in your input values. And there you go. For the critical value, since it's a range, you're going to put it in twice. Make one negative. And be very attentive to course compasses need. It's asking you to round to a specific place. On homework, you can fix this, but on exams, your answers will be wrong. And for the last statement here, You are taught never to think of fail or reject as accepting the null, but for purposes of understanding and getting your work done, it's fine to think accept, just don't admit it to others. For this particular problem, we can accept that H sub zero and fail to reject for insufficient evidence as that disk has suggested. Fourteen, for the following claim, find the null and all hypothesis tests, etc. The mean IQ score of stats professors is less than 117. And for our sample data, we have a sample size N of 17, a sample mean X bar of 121, and a sample standard deviation S of 3. The sig fig level is 05 alpha, which is pretty much standard, and your claim mean is 117. We're going to go to hypothesis testing of population one mean, and we're going to use number six population mean is less than the claimed mean as we have in our alternate hypothesis plug in your input data and evaluate and for part b here it's asking me to round to three decimal places but it's saying that my answer of 5.498 is incorrect i also did this by hand with my calculator and still got 5.4975 so either I'm doing something incorrectly or course compass is just wrong on this. So you may not want to round your answer when you plug it in for this section. For part C, we got a p-value of one. So wherever you see the word p-value, substitute in the number one and choose the answer that makes the statement true. In this case, one is greater than 0 0.10. Part D, you just plug that in and for E, you throw in your standard conclusion. In number 15, calculate the test statistic, find the critical values of chi squared, and use a chi squared distribution table to find the limits containing the p-value. Determine whether there is sufficient evidence to support the given alternative hypothesis. Now you're given a string of data here that fits beautifully into your stat disk. We're going to stick with hypothesis test standard deviation of one, and you're going to choose your first option here of population standard deviation equals claim standard deviation. Your standard 0 0.05 significance, your claim deviation of 3.42, have a sample size of 12, and a sample standard deviation of 3.93, which is your S. Evaluate and plug in your values. For your critical values, plug them both in with a comma, and be very careful with your decimal parts there. For your p-value, again, we have a p-value of 0 0.146, so just plug it into where it makes sense of where it makes the statement true. So here, 0 0.4 is larger than 0 0.2, but less than 1, so that is our answer. And is there sufficient evidence to support the alternative hypothesis? Since we fail to reject the null, <coughs> our answer is no. It is outside the critical region, and p-value is greater than the level of significance. Moving on. And finally, number 16. A very long-winded problem, but don't let that intimidate you. Just plug in your inputs, and you're good to go. Quarters are currently minted with the weights of having a mean of 5.85 and a standard deviation of 0.067. There's new equipment being tested to improve quality. A simple random sample of 23 quarters is obtained from those manufactured with the new equipment. And the sample has a standard deviation of 0 0.41. I'm going to use a 0.5 significance level to test the claim that quarters manufactured with new equipment have weights with a standard deviation less than 0 0.67. 
so you're going to go to stat disk analysis standard deviation of one sample but this time you're going to use number six as a population standard deviation less than your claim standard deviation as it asks you to use plug in your values you're going to have your significance of 0.05 your claim deviation of 067 you have 23 quarters that were sampled and it tells you that your sample standard deviation was 0.41 you're going to evaluate now your chi square and all that is irrelevant here all you're worried about is if you're going to reject your null hypothesis and here you have in your answer since h0 is 0.067 you are rejecting it and that concludes this tutorial for the chapter 8 homework rate comment subscribe